<laughs> Cindy and I lost the bet and now we're walking naked in New York. <laughs> I literally cannot believe that I'm finally updating you about my New York Fashion Week adventure. We finally made it on my fly flight number two. If you do follow me on Instagram, which is Tamara, by the way, I have actually told you my so far horror story about, I don't want to say making it to New York because I feel like I could still jinx it, okay? Honestly, this has been the craziest travel I've ever experienced in my life and you guys know that I travel it's not like I've never traveled you know so yesterday 24 hours ago I left my home in Milan and the first thing that I haven't even told you on the stories is I arrived to the airport I was gonna pay the taxi which is actually my driver that I use all the time I was like I don't have my wallet I don't have my wallet and this never happens to me okay so this never happened to me in my life and he said to me don't worry i'll go back your home get your wallet you do the check-in and you wait for me outside of security so that we can make sure that you do everything on time and i was like oh perfect so he brings me the wallet and also my house keys that i forgot and also this whole entire bag basically so i'm like okay it's fine you know now it's all good eventually i make it on my first flight which was milan london and then i had like a long like four hour layover in london to fly from london to new york and I was meant to arrive in New York on the 6th of September because I have like many things to do before the New York Fashion Week starts, I have projects to shoot, I have fittings and meetings and all of that good stuff. So I sit on the plane, which is like 15 minutes late, all good, all fine, we're good with that, right? And uh, eventually the pilot comes out and says, very bad news, I'm afraid. And you know, like, I don't know about you guys, I'm very comfortable flying. But if a pilot comes out and says very bad news, I'm afraid, it's like quite worrying, you know? And because I've flew so much and I have so much airport experience in my life, I've been on flights with convicts that are being taken into custody and with police. I've like been on flights that had to make an emergency landing or change an airport, all this stuff. And usually the announcement is like, just to let you know, no worries. But when you start with very bad news, it's already stressful. It was very bad news. The plane was broken and of course you couldn't fly, but they wanted to see if they could perhaps change the part, which was like a very important instrument that was broken so that we can fly. But many people already didn't want to fly, even with changed instrument. And I was calling my travel agent because I was like, okay, I need to see if I'm gonna make my flight now. The answer was no. And she already pre-booked me even before I went on that, out of that plane on another flight. So I kind of had things figured out. But the problem is they held us for two hours on that plane then we waited like one hour to get the luggages out of the plane and then I could not make any connection to New York on the same day which I was devastated for because I miss a very important thing but at the same time I was like look it's always the most important thing is to be safe you know nothing else matters as much right I had like three hours to wait to my well they put me on the next flight which was in the morning but the layover was like one hour and I was like you know what if that morning flight is delayed there's no chance I'm gonna make the flight to New York again so I'm just gonna go to London tonight I flew on another company I went to London I made it to London in midnight landed at terminal 4 I needed to go to terminal 5 to see if I can get uh, the air company to give me like a hotel stay and uh, I had to wait like 45 minutes until I could go to the other terminal which was okay I was like fine I made it to the other terminal and it was 11 p.m. I was dead by that point 12 hour traveling and basically there was nobody like it was dead dead like there was nobody at the airport and this was the moment where i almost wanted to cry because i felt like i was in a ghost town i finally made it there and then there was nobody there i asked a few people that were like cleaning you know the night shift and they were like don't know you know eventually i find a lady she was wonderful she gave me a hotel stay and said where to go and then checked me in for the next flight in the morning which was at 9 a.m i went to this you can imagine how hotel airports are not glamorous at all all fine like a tiny little room and i went i made it there at 1 a.m yeah i just had like five hours sleep 
woke up in the morning at 7 and just walked to the terminal to check in. So, yeah, I was like, okay, all good. My flight delayed a little bit. It was two hours delayed. But your girl here gets selected for a random security check. Have been selected for a random security check before. Like, it's all fine. You know, they're checking for whatever, like, dangerous stuff. They, they check your bags that you don't have anything dangerous for other people, etc. And everything is fine. And then... Um, they check like my hands my phone my laptop and all of that stuff everything is perfect and then when it comes to my bag the machine like is not working anymore so they're holding me they're like so sorry we cannot let you go until we like perform this but they're super nice like because they're like it's not your fault it's just that uh, we're so sorry it's just like these things sometimes happen but now i'm stressing and they're like until we finish performing this you cannot get on the plane it's just a rule and now i'm already thinking i'm not even gonna go to new york you know like I literally, I cannot even make it, I cannot even do it, I cannot even go. So in my head, I panicked, but at the same time I was like, okay, I was like, now it's enough, now it's enough. Anyway, everything went well, you know, the person came, fixed, everything was fine, I got on the plane, yes, we're delayed, but it's all fine, I am now going to New York Fashion Week. I'm sorry for this very long story, we'll try to make it as short as possible, so that we now go to New York, okay? Let's go. I just wanted to say one more thing. I'm so proud of myself how I reacted in this whole situation because it was not pleasant and it was like stressful knowing that I have so we had to change so many things in my schedule in the last 24 hours, which means contacting many many people to let them know, disappointing some people that I won't make certain things that I committed to, which I hate to do. But these things happen, it's out of my hands. And I wanted to kind of like share this with you, not to complain, because I haven't even complained to my boyfriend or my sister. I was like being very optimistic and making fun out of it. But I think that like, I wanted to share also with you the less glam part of these travels. Like, it's nice when you like, you know, you travel business class, you arrive to a beautiful hotel, you go to beautiful fashion shows, and it could seem sometimes very glamorous. But then first, let's see if my suitcases arrive, <laughs> then, let's you know let's see i mean the start's not ideal right yeah i just kind of don't want to like lose my mind and help over these things you know so decided to look on the bright side started like this but all of my friends that i've spoken to about this said that all of their best trips started with terrible kind of flight situations so i am feeling very optimistic about this Okay guys, we made it to New York. I don't know how, you've seen all the like crazy adventure of this fashion week, but all of my friends that I've spoken to said that the best trips always started with the worst kind of journey, if that makes sense. We made it, as you can see there are my suitcases in the back, one of them is broken, but I'm so happy they're here, so it doesn't matter that they broke, what matters is that they're here. I think that's the most important thing. We have a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous view of New York, but I'm running late because I have a Princess Cooler fitting and a Monster Show at one, and I think that I have another fitting. Anyway, it's a very busy day today, even though New York Fashion Week officially starts from tomorrow. So, wish me good luck. I'm wearing an incredible Prada outfit with um, this kind of like under shorts with the superhero tail. Everywhere I go, people are saying like, what an amazing outfit. And um, yeah, we gotta do a little walk and talk and go to my next fitting. You're so quick and easy. <laughs> oh I know what I want. Yeah. This? Yellow, yeah. The mustard you know? Okay guys, we made it to Blue Bottle Coffee. This is a place that I actually saw last time we were in New York in February. And I thought it looks really cute. And look, now I ordered a matcha that looks delicious. Can we agree on that? We actually have 10 minutes before the show. So, matcha first and the monster show
Okay guys, that was our first show of New York Fashion Week, Monse, and I wanted to give you a few details about how the show went. It was very... First of all, it was at the Battery Park, which I don't know why, but I was really feeling the vibe. It was kind of... Um, it was starting to be a little bit autumn, but then it was a sunny day, so... It is a sunny day, so quite nice to present the Spring Summer Collection. Monse is known for the constructed everything. I personally love how they do like deconstructed like trenches and shirts and make them into like dresses there was this one look with a trench coat which was like deconstructed on sleeves and a beautiful sort of like a big a like line skirt a little bit of puffy like structured which is another thing they're known for structure organza tool they use all of that into kind of like a modern uh, tailoring so they put it all together to create like quite original styling I would say and there was that trench that I really loved and there was a stripy shirt stripes also they're quite known for a stripy shirt deconstructed looks like these two shirts and you guys know how much I love deconstructed stuff so it was really really incredible like there were a few pieces that I really loved which were mainly the structured and deconstructed things at the beginning they gave the speech about like an amazing partnership that they're doing to be contributing with food donations and to obviously people who need it so i think it's like quite nice that fashion is kind of leaning also more towards doing also some incredible things for the community as we're gonna jump out of the car we're going for fitting then we have like three and a half hours free, more or less, to actually before I have a facial and I'm very much excited for that facial, especially because I spent two days at the airport. So fitting first, then a little break, then a facial. but I woke up at 6 so it feels like it's not morning anymore. Perk of New York. Uh, we are actually going to Michael Kors fitting this morning. I also have like few things to do. Got dressed up and then today we have two shows. It's the first official day of New York Fashion Week. Today we have Francis Kula and Fendi. We also have a Fendi dinner afterwards. Fendi's gonna be pretty major because they're celebrating 25 years of iconic baguette. That's gonna be insane. That also like brands is one of my favorite American brands. So I think that's just, it's just like such a great day for Fashion Week. So one thing at a time, fitting first, and then need to get myself sorted a little bit and more presentable so that we can start day one of New York Fashion Week. I'm wearing for the first time my new match and match shoes. They're quite low heel, so very easy. Filippo was like, oh, you're very dressed up for like 9 a.m. But I was like, it doesn't feel like 9 a.m. The most beautiful view at Michael Kors offices, but like, look at this, we're here for Michael Kors fitting. Oh my god. almost ready well makeup only for the first official show monster was yesterday but today is the first new york fashion week day according to the calendar um we are going to prince and fendi as you guys know and i'm gonna change into my look now and this is the look i haven't actually shown it to you at the fitting but you'll see it on now Ta -da! I love this look. I hope you guys can hear me because New York is known to be very loud. But this is it, white and yellow. And it's Sunday. We're just waiting for the car and we're going to Prensa Schooler.
this is the vlog, Caroline. You're not the only vlogger here. You know, there's other people I'm also. Such a bad, I'm such a bad there are other people who create YouTube as well. I like. I don't even take my shit. This is exit also. Oh, okay. You cannot say those words on my YouTube. Oops. We are here all like polite. You're polite? Polite. I'm just talking about myself, okay? Not about you. Not about yeah. that person, no? We are back, ladies and gentlemen, in our beautiful, beautiful room. I'm starving. It's like 5.31, the hairdresser's coming at 6 to get me ready for the Fendi show. And that's about it, basically. Baby, this is the time of the day when I get really tired, you know? My boyfriend and I, during Fashion Weeks, we don't stay together in the same hotel because we both are working independently and we both need our space. But I love these little visits in between, like meals together, or dates it's the best anyway I wanted to tell you about Princess Cooler's show there was a little bit of like 70s in there like flare a lot of flare pants jumpsuits like one pieces and those kind of iconic longer sleeves that drape down a bit of like a kind of fishnet structure when it comes to dresses the makeup and the hair were like this wet look as you could see like the whole show was inspired by like some kind of wild and wet and fresh and glowy power woman i would say that what i love about jack and lazaro is their like kind of how much they pay attention to the detail and my favorite look there was this white coat which was kind of like of a bouclage material and with the button up that was beautiful the colors i was like how to do their colors and the shoes there were these shoes that i really loved so yeah let's have half an hour break hairdresser get ready and go to fendi okay guys i am now dressed for the fendi 25 year anniversary of baguette very exciting feels crazy 25 years i uh, remember the famous scene it's not a bag it's a baguette your bag it's a baguette let me have it well that's me tonight my baguette is there let's show it to you i think i will just bring the regular one but maybe i should embellish it with the little one. It is the night to honor the baguette. So that's it. And we are ready to roll. Good morning guys, I am running a little bit late. I lost the track of time this morning. We're going to Altazara show, I just got dressed. This is a little extra. Let's see how it's looking. Okay, it's good, now it's good. Let's come together. Fine, we've got three belts on this knit dress. Look is ready, everything is ready. And we are ready to go for my first show of the second day of New York Fashion Week, which is Altazara. always love like there's this vibe that he creates the clothes that is like origami you know it's a little bit deconstructed and a little bit you look at the pieces and you're thinking is it a shirt is it a part of the skirt is it a jacket and the way that styling is done is such a big part of the impression of the collection the layering the pieces like multiple belts together multiple jackets shirts one over another i think that's a huge part of um, this there were like few looks that I really loved there was this kind of like a cashmere puffy jacket Then the yellow like deconstructed set I'll insert all the pics so you guys can see it There was this red dress that was in a second kind of part of the collection There were these prints that I really liked that I thought were special They were not really tie-dye 
and not animal prints like something in between and then there was the elegant part as well that i thought was spectacular overall i really like the show we are now heading back to the hotel to change because i have these shoes are you ready they are amazing but i'm not gonna go walking around and new york is all about walking i like milan and milan you don't really end up walking a lot or even paris i don't know New York is a lot of walking so we have a fitting at 12 and before then I want to just change into something super easy and comfy and then we're gonna go to the fitting then I have a little break and then we have another show in the afternoon I quite like this fashion week because I like to kind of I spaced it out so that I have like two maximum three shows per day and that I can actually enjoy the whole process and the day guys we are in Soho we had the most delicious lunch at Mercer Kitchen. Filippo ate two burgers, not one, but two. But I think that's jet lag. That's such a lie. No, I never. And then Xenia uh, and I are walking. New York is in my top five cities on uh, Instagram and also on YouTube. So we ran into Look, a lot like of you naked. guys. We are naked. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Xenia and I lost the bet and now we're walking naked in New York. Okay, right? So funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, <laughs> that was true. The funniest part is we ran into some of our followers, and then Filippo said, Thank you so much, keep supporting. I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, we're having such a nice, nice day. Tamara, yeah. should I walk in and say, I work here? <laughs> yeah, there's a huge queue in front of Chanel, but Xenia is like head to toe dressed in Chanel. So I think, yeah. I mean, I would be very embarrassed if you have to queue now. <laughs> We're not going to Chanel. We are going home. It's also very hot today. Really enjoying New York. I have one more show today. And then we have dinner tonight. And yeah, that's basically day two of New York Fashion Week. This collection, this is very chic. Did you like it? Yeah, I, yeah. I think it's very like a New York. Do you want a shoe? Cool. Are you open to a shoe? I'm, I'm open to it. Like, why not? Can put you in like a boot or like one of our clogs or something? Or not like not this much. Oh, this is a bit baggy, so I wanna. Let's see. Okay, guys, lunch is over. Fun time is over. I mean, it's still fun, but. I have to get going to the next show. You know what I mean? It's more fun hanging out with my friends than my boyfriend, but I love my job. That's the perk, a little bit of fragrance. And we have to go. I am loving one of my all-time favorites, Dolce & Gabbana. This is Velvet Amber Skin. Gun. Lip Balm, my favorite, Summer Fridays. I actually just got uh, at their event a new purple one and that goes in the bag wallet sunglasses phone external battery charger because i'm at the 19 percent that's no bueno anyway where we go because we don't want to stress about being late i'll be so hot but that's what happens when you go to shows you know in february you're freezing and in september you're boiling oh i didn't show you my look tv top tv trench Coperni skirt with the row belt, some white socks, these are from Arquette, and Prada loafers. That's it, hope you like it. Show number five of New York Fashion Week done, it was TV, and I mean, it, I did not expect it. First of all, like I haven't seen that many rows at a show in kind of a long time because usually like New York is a little bit more industrial I don't know how to quite describe it but I really like the warmth that this show gave it was very kind of it felt very personal like it was friends of the brand and emotional and Amy the designer at the end like she walked all the way to the very end of runway which was beautiful while we all applauded the collection itself was very much her style like that kind of like powerful woman that feels comfortable in like easy pieces nothing constricting or uncomfortable looking very flowy easy straight lines that's basically what it was a bit of layering and some really really incredible baggy jeans that I saw 
so that's it now we can go home i cannot actually wait to relax for a little bit and then it's dinner time good morning guys i don't even know if you can see me or hear me i am getting ready because my favorite people are waiting for me and by that i mean senia jorgen and my boyfriend i want to be very casual because we'll be walking we're going for breakfast I'm the last man down because I was doing work, YouTube related work, you know? They don't have really that on their plate. So let's go down because New York City is calling and breakfast is calling. So let's do it. Okay guys, we are now uh, currently aimlessly walking around uh, Soho. We went to Tribeca, we were a little bit everywhere and now we are walking. As you can see, we had our morning coffee, which for me was my old latte and a porridge. And we're just talking, sharing ideas. What I love the most about my friendship with Xenia is that we always <coughs> inspire each other on productivity, goal setting, and we're each other's accountability partners. So that's really nice always and motivating, especially at the beginning of Fashion Month. And yeah, walking, then we're gonna go back to the hotel. I need to get dressed and ready for Kate. Also, honestly, how amazing is my boyfriend carrying my bag so that I can vlog? We just made it to Butler. This is your Right, your One of many. One of many favorites? Senia doesn't love it. Senia doesn't love it? No, I like Senia? it. Why so much negativity? I like it. I mean, it's just like she doesn't love it. She oh, okay. It. I love it. I love the aesthetics. Well, I, we had our morning coffee at Laughing Man and I love aesthetics here more. That's right. Who would have said a transformation from what you've seen me previously? I am now ready. The hair is done. Went for the mermaid wave. Look at this Kate dress. It's like really extra for 1 p.m. I think. Look at the back. It's a sample. But the moment that this dress is out, I'm gonna get it because I love it. I got my Jimmy Choo Saida heels. Sparkly. Bottega spaghetti bag. This is the TV trench that I wore yesterday just because it's raining and you know like I want to kind of make this look a little bit more 1 p.m. These somehow sunglasses that I adore. They're a bit of like J-Lo vibes and I am ready for Kate. You guys know how much I love Kate so I'm not even going to tell you how excited I am for the show. I'm so excited because I can go to the show with my boyfriend who is also going to the show and we sit next to each other. It's the cutest thing ever. I love it. I love it. It never really happens, but when it happens, it's the best. My dress is shorter than your patience. Mm. You're not a very patient. I am super patient. Yeah? Mm. I do like going to shows together with me because it's my favorite thing. Yeah, I love it. You love it? I do. And what do you expect to see today at Kate? Black. It's spring summer. That's why. Black. <laughs> you will see. Okay. And uh, rock. Because last time it was very, very black and very rock. So mm -hmm. I expect that. And I'm sure it will be that. I expect to see also a lot of like a neat dresses for summer. You know what I expect? I expect something like a purple. Burgundy, like mauve? No, like purple, like Violet. punk. Like punk. Okay, let's see. We will inform you after the show what we saw. Yeah. Okay, guys, we just went into the cage show. It's very small. It's probably the smallest show that we've been to this season. But it's uh, amazing. I love this venue as always. It's not the most perfect life. Currently Serbia, Italy, basketball underway. I think if Italy wins, we might have a little fight. No, maybe Italy, Serbia, same, same. I have to say that the collection was pretty insane. There was 
some pieces like my favorite 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 look I'll insert the picture of was this look with the black blazer and the crystallized disco color I don't know like it was just insane uh, excuse me sorry sorry excuse me uh, I didn't mean to interrupt thank you so much pleasure, pleasure. You're, you're forgiven um, we of course saw some knit summer dresses like I said and there was even something purple wasn't there yep. so well done I really love the collection I thought it was kind of like tailored but then also sexy a bit of sparkly rock stuff, 70s rock, also nirvana music like last time as well yeah this time it was smells like teen spirit mm -hmm. and it was yeah loved it always one of my favorite shows at new york fashion week guys it's sunday we came back from lunch literally like every single day we're eating at the mercy kitchen because it is so delicious beyond delicious i was bringing my ipad to show xenia my productivity setup okay here productivity setup all in my ipad because um, it keeps me very much like organized and yeah i was telling you about that today actually in the morning <sighs> the vegan burger at the mercy kitchen guys i don't know if you had it but you should and the normal burger is also really great love it now what's the plan i'm gonna chill for like an hour and a half well by chilling i mean sit on the bed and upload all the stories and all the content there's a lot to go through and i record with like two phones and cameras so i need to see what i'm gonna post then we are heading to tommy's show which is in brooklyn but the car's picking us up at six so heading to brooklyn to do that and then we have let me think monday tuesday wednesday and thursday i'm going back home thursday is going to be kind of an easy day there's nothing on thursday on wednesday i have two shows michael course tom ford tomorrow i have area and veronica beard then on tuesday i have also two shows i believe i think the hardest day is going to be 14 because i have michael course show in the morning and i have tom ford in the evening which is the closing show of new york fashion week but in the during the day i am filming in brooklyn again something for oscar de la renta and i also have glam by tom ford beauty team so yeah fun it's gonna be like a long day but it's the last day so it's okay that's basically it i also have some projects to shoot that i have to take care of and then i will feel like everything's perfect so let's go and do the stories very cloudy day today these are some of my looks that i still have to wear like for example for the ronnie kobo's dinner we have some looks this is my bevza look michael kors look this is going to be my tommy look veronica beard a lot of like white and neutral ish which is obviously my kind of shades but yeah i have i believe one more look missing it is six o'clock in new york right now i hope you can hear me like new york is always very loud we do have microphone so oh the camera is really dirty wait um. <laughs> hopefully that's better anyway um we're going to tommy hilfiger show as you can see my boyfriend said this is the cutest look he's ever seen i love it i'm wearing my favorite gucci blondie i literally love this bag so much because of the vintage feel that it has but this is my look we're going to brooklyn luckily i am very comfortable because i feel like it's going to be a crazy show so yeah let's find our car and let's get going okay we are running um, like on time i would say it's at seven i'm just live location with brian because we're trying to meet up before we actually enter the show a little bit crazy at the moment so Let's see. I don't even think we did last night's Tommy recap of the show. The reason why we didn't do the comment on last night's Tommy show is because well, we took Brian home, so it was a lot of chatting in the car, but also because I was completely wet, so was he, everybody was completely wet and a little bit uncomfortable to do that. But the show was like, as you can imagine, first time it shot after three years. It was pretty crazy, huge, everybody was there, and it was in Brooklyn. It was pouring, and I think like, it, you know, the collection, you know what to expect, like preppy, stripes, street, lifestyle but i would say that 
um, I got home and as soon as I got home I didn't even have dinner I just went to bed I was exhausted from that kind of feeling this morning we're heading to Veronica Beard show I'm wearing a full look it is like quite a you know light casual kind of my style I always make sure that every look that I wear is my style and that I would wear it for some kind of occasion anyway um, we're gonna walk because actually it's like super close by to the hotel and I love walking in New York until I return with full feet of blisters but it's okay I'm wearing the I'm wearing the match and match shoes that's the correct way to pronounce it I love and I love them very much they're very comfy actually because the heel is not that high it's reasonable no so that's it in my Chanel mini flap Saint Laurent glasses, we'll link them below and let's go! Appreciate your sound, need a renovation Guys, back in the room and I received a beautiful, gorgeous bouquet of white um, hydrangeas with a note. Let's open it. Ooh, it's from Tom Ford. Let's see what it says. Dear Tamara, it's our pleasure to welcome you to New York City. We're thrilled to have you join us for the Tom Ford Spring Summer 23 fashion show. Best wishes, Tom Ford. This is honestly the cutest. I'm so grateful to be here. Guys, we're not really late, but we're going very far. Area show is in one hour. It's 3 or 6 now, it's at 4, but with 3 o'clock traffic, you never really know. I'm wearing area top, very sparkly, very tight because I'm not used to wearing stuff like this. I got the Balenciaga jeans that you guys gave me so much, like, not love for. A lot of you are thinking that they're just way too baggy, but I, I love them. Also, my boyfriend loves them. Like we both are like, these are the best jeans ever. Balenciaga sunglasses, my new YSL heart clutch. Best accessory ever is the coconut water, which is basically what 90% of my diet currently consists of. Not true, because I ate a flatbread pizza today as well. And it's very, very humid, which is not great for my hair, but I want it to be very straight, kind of not straight, but you know, like very simple today, because everything else is not simple. It's the area show today. Guys, I had two dinners already tonight where I didn't really eat because I didn't have time. I'm heading to my third one. I just changed into this crop top from Ronnie Kobo and Ronnie's my friend. I'm going to her dinner tonight. Ah, I'll try to vlog something so you guys can see it. But very much running late, so let's get going. It's supposed to be a girl's uh, dinner, but Jurgen somehow didn't get a memo. We're going to Casa Cipriani. So now I'm bringing Filippo so that he can keep Jurgen company because they're best buddies. I love this top from Roni. Still the same jeans, mini Kelly. And we're getting in the car now. Good morning, guys. It's a new day in New York. And honestly, I'm trying to understand. I feel like I've been vlogging every single day in the same look <laughs> because when I'm casual, this is kind of what I've been wearing for like 15 minutes. And then I change into a look. But these are my new Celine pants. I don't th even think I've shown you these. I got them before the trip. And this is like my favorite stuff top right now anyway we just received a huge humongous huge huge just huge tom ford very heavy package and i want to open it up but first things first where's my phone want to take a little story 
because you see this is like all these things like for example vlog content story content all the good stuff let's open it i'm dying to see what's inside today is a little bit of a stressful day because well basically we're not going home tomorrow we're going home day after tomorrow but we have three more shows one presentation one event well two events and is that it and i think like a bunch of projects to shoot because all of my projects are now at the end they were like either at the beginning or at the end so let's see it's very heavy I mean, Tom Ford is honestly oh this looks so good so Tom Ford show is tomorrow uh, Tom Ford is closing the New York Fashion Week which is very exciting I must admit are you ready <gasps> Dear Tamara, we are so thrilled you are joining us for Tom Ford's Spring Summer 23 Runway Show. We hope you enjoy using good in clothes gift on the day of the show. Best wishes, Tom Ford Beauty. Oh, guys, have you ever seen this? I mean, yes, we have. When we went to LA, do you remember? In December, like literally Tom Ford spoiled me so, so much. I cannot even. This is beyond. There is so much in here that it will take me like a whole entire video to just show you But I'm very excited for... What have we got? Tobacco Vanille That's what I'm excited for, like that's what I actually wanted initially Different, I'd say, than what I'm used to This looks very, very snazzy What is this for, I wonder? Tobacco Vanille, I love I love, love, love I think this is like a ref... We're gonna have to investigate I think it's maybe for a refill Yep Oh my god, this is so good Okay, smells so good Yummy, 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 yummy mm, I want it now, I want it now I really miss this fragrance Love it so much It's so good But I received something else called Tom Ford Private Blend I thought that's what they're called Ah! Ah, this is just a white this smells insane now i want to spray this on but this one is white and this one is brown ish this is so beautiful look at the detailing on top i'm i'm beyond myself i'm shook i received so many products like illuminating primer gorgeous 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 i received lip color in bed lieutenant my favorite who remembers Glass in crystalline. Let's open it because I'm curious. Oh, beautiful. Also want to apply it right now, actually, because it looks so pretty. Thank you, Tom Ford, for spoiling me. Then what else have we got? Desert Fox Quad also showed it to you in December vlog in close-up. Shade and Illuminate Blush in Peach Poison. I think this is new for me beautiful then we have lipsticks in sable smoke and maca rose sable smoke i mean laps since forever these are actually the products i'm running out of eye defining pen which is the best eyeliner in the world brow sculptor in espresso my favorite badass mascara this is so good what is this it is a mirror beautiful for the bag this is so so thoughtful and a bunch of insane Tom Ford research uh, skincare products that I've had are the best there are and I'm gonna start with tonight so that is it guys literally got so so spoiled in case you don't remember Desert Fox this is for sure what I'm gonna be wearing to the show look how beautiful the colors are anyway now we have I'll let you know how long we have 25 minutes to get ready for the next show which is Bebsa and after that we're heading straight uptown for my Tom Ford fitting for tomorrow's show I'm like literally super last minute and we have a Michael Kors cocktail for which I also need to film something but I haven't received my look yet so all I can say is fingers crossed it's gonna arrive like in the next 25 minutes hey it's a stressful day because a lot of things are just like very tight together but we're managing i'm very happy with how we're managing which bag should i wear i feel like i haven't worn this one once so it could be kind of cute even if it's not like perfect match either with the style or anything else um i love my gucci body that's it style wise it's her Fashion. Love this bag so much. So many things. Everybody's working. The whole team. It's Tuesday. We're really trying to do our best. Okay, we need to get going. That was Bevza. I'm trying to upload the stories and kind of like 
try and be as close to real time as possible considering that we are behind with the time difference etc the show was first of all it started with one minute of silence for when they said all the people suffering from six months war in ukraine when they said it was six months i stopped myself for a second the collection was very much Bevza. I think like the talent is infinite. I love the like easy silhouette and the beautiful like intricate thin fabrics. Obviously we're talking about spring summer 23. So it was very much like some, uh, there were like only three colors in the collection that I could have noticed, yellow, blue and black. There was this one dress that was made of black silk in cut out triangles. And at the back it had a very beautiful detailing I'll insert the clip so you can see it. It was, it was really nice, but now we have to run off to Tom Ford Fitting, which is on the other side of the city. It'll take us at least half an hour in the car. And we have the Michael Kors cocktail. Afterwards, I'm trying to check out what are the dinner plans with my friends. I feel like I'm getting married every time I step on these. I love this. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's incredible. What I'm gonna do? I also like. I love the shoe. The shoe, right? Better. Guys, guys, guys! I have like zero minutes. We are going to our best dinner, and I think I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. Should I wear my gloomy Kelly? I don't have actually an outfit. Okay, I'm gonna try something like this. And this, I haven't actually even shot it. It's kind of cute look, perhaps. Up, top, top, top. Then I can go for the black Kelly or the brown and the heels. Should I wear heels? Should I wear my clogs? I don't know, it's tough. But anyway, isn't it beautiful? I am shook how beautiful this is. Today we received so many gifts. You also we also received some skincare from Cora. Let's see how fast I can change. Tomorrow is going to be very, very crazy. I'm a little bit concerned, but that's what fashion work is. It's not chill. It's competitive, it's high speed. It's always trying to do your best. People can be difficult, but also really amazing. I met some of my best friends through this job and some of them are gonna see tonight, like Xenia, that I literally cannot wait to see. This is what I think I'm going to be wearing. Um, something along this line. Should I tuck this in? Maybe I'll tuck it in. And maybe I'll go for this. Because I think it's kind of nice. Do we agree? I would like love to wear the clogs. Because I think that's pretty cool. Right? But I feel like we're in New York. I should go for heels. Because, you know, it is New York after all. My phone's dying. I have no battery. Should I wear the same shoes that I was wearing? White, black, brown. You know, it ties it all in together nicely. And they're comfy. They may be a little bit too corporate for my liking. Something a bit more glam. The Balenciaga, they're more cool. This could be, actually. I feel like I need a necklace. And it should be the same. Let's see. Yep. It's going to be like this once it's finalized. But because I really love the closure on this that's the look for tonight you guys good morning guys i haven't actually rubbed my around eye cream it's the last whole day of new york fashion week i don't know why my throat feels very dry like i need to hydrate more i've been drinking so much water more than ever but it's still not enough <sighs> So last day of New York Fashion Week, I think I've done around like, I don't know, 10 shows so far. I still have Michael Kors this morning, Tom Ford this evening, and La Pointe a presentation today because I really love that brand. I don't actually do presentations, to be honest, unless I really love the brand. So that is the plan for today. How do I feel? I'm waiting actually for Xenia and Jorgen to come and pick me up so that we can go for our morning coffee at 7 
20 and I feel excited that it's the last day of fashion week just because I'm happy to go back to European time zone because this way every morning I wake up with like million 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 messages of things I need to do and it's very intense last night we went to Hermes dinner then Xenia and Jürgen came to my room because Filippo left so they were like hanging out with me a little bit I got something from Hermes we got a little goodie bag inside of it two nail polishes Oh my god, imagine if that broke. Anyway, the burgundy metallic one. Hopefully you can see the color. I think it's gorgeous. And I love the packaging. I mean, packaging is beyond. And the other one I already saw. It's like, it looks like how I would imagine kind of stardust. Grayish metallic. Also, I already saw this because Xenia Box has. And I also saw it at the showroom, at the Hermes showroom in Milan. Three lipsticks. They are in kind of like darker colors. This burgundy one rouge synabre <laughs> my french lol guys we have mm, mat rouge feu so fire right like well it's red and then we have gorgeous packaging i mean pierre hadi he always makes it like incredible this one which is wow rouge grenade okay that's it so yeah i'm gonna put on something very comfy now and we go to maman for coffee i literally don't know how i'm gonna pack to go home tomorrow i still have to see some people yeah Let, let's go i'll bring my agenda i need to do so much planning and i have to do so many outfit selection because i don't want to do all the fittings in milan i don't even have time or london so i need to select the looks that the brands will sent to me let's do that now okay i think i vlogged a little bit this morning but now this should be a transformation because i definitely didn't look like this i am getting ready for the michael kors show michael kors of course got my latcha this is a very good matcha right yeah it is from matcha full and um, it's an old latcha hair is done makeup is done i'm fully dressed i'm wearing kind of like a casual look which is what i like it's 10 a.m show you know the collection is pretty cool, like this collection from Michael Kors collection. It's a lot of words. Um, I think it's amazing. I have this bag as well. Ta -da! How do we like it? What else I wanted to update you on? I need a pair of sunglasses. I need something around my neck. And we're good to go. Can you see this? We are back from Michael Kors show. I just realized that, well, I didn't really give the commentary, but I did with Kara at the show. We were saying that it was the most beautiful Michael Kors show that I've ever seen, and I've been to a fair share of Michael Kors shows. Stunning, gorgeous tailoring. There was this white look that I am dying for. I know how, like, Anna Vintour, after the show, she goes to backstage, and she basically already kind of, like, requests some looks right after, or if she doesn't like the show, she just leaves. And I know that she requested some, looks from other shows that like literally already happened and she's already worn them just happened and she already worn them and i felt like i wish i could just go <laughs> to bex obviously not comparing myself in any way shape or form with the icon but i think that like i wanted the pieces so bad they were so gorgeous i already changed into another knit set or a dress actually on this occasion it's a light blue one from la ponte and we are going to see the collection i really love the brand like i told you guys i don't normally actually attend presentations but this i really really like the look so and i really like the collection so i'm gonna go check it out after that i was supposed to have a shooting which kind of got changed the date so xenia and i might be going tiny 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 little bit of shopping and then i have a hair appointment no i have a hair appointment right after la ponte then shopping with Xenia. then i have a little bit of time to eat to get ready for tom ford show how's that not too bad now huh? anyway that's the plan for the day putting these aminas on literally after this there will only be kind of one thing left which is tom ford well more or less we'll see but it just feels a little bit a lot of activities and i need like all of these things that i need to post and do and stuff all good anyway let me show you my outfit i'm so happy that i'm actually wearing my mini kelly the light blue one because i never well not never but i don't wear it enough i should wear it more right so this is going to be my look for the presentation it's a bit messed up the hair but it's okay i have an appointment at one how do we like it good yay or nay
guys, my personal battery levels are running a little bit low, but it's okay because we only have one more fashion show to go to the end. I wanted to show you actually a gift I received from Tom Ford's fashion team. It is a pair of sunglasses that I haven't even tried on yet myself. Ooh! I don't actually own a pair of pink sunnies. Let's see. I mean, I love Tom Ford's sunglasses. I don't know if I'm gonna ruin my hair now. How are they? Oh, they're quite fabulous actually, even with this hairstyle. Love it. Okay, I need to fix my hair a little bit here. We'll work on that in a second. Basically, long story short, I also received a few more beauty products like the lip color in Nubile, I think, and uh, illuminating primer. This is my handbag of the night. Have you seen it? I also have shoes. I'm getting ready. We're gonna go for a pre drink, pre show drink. Then there are like cocktails at the venue. I think the show is gonna be really major because it's also closing of New York Fashion Week. So I think that's a pretty big deal. I also need to apply my lip gloss that I had today. I wonder where it is. Look at it. Yeah, let's see. I love, love it, love it. This is gloss. Ooh! I'm alive, guys. All good. It's the lip gloss in crystalline, so good, number 14. Love it, love it, love it. I wore it today also to the Michael Kors show, and not only that it's beautiful, but it also smells so good, oh my god. I love this heart-shaped lip applicator, because it just like glides so perfectly. And yeah, let's get going. I am super excited to wrap up this new fashion. We still have to pack tonight, then tomorrow I have like one lunch meeting, and I'm gonna have to wash out this out of my hair, because when we arrive in London, we're gonna lose like basically kind of almost a one day and I'll have back to back London Fashion Week the day we arrive. So let's go. Guys, I cannot believe that we made it to the end of fashion week. I honestly feel like all I wanna do is put my feet up and by that I mean in no heels because it was enough, I think. At the moment, everybody is like running a little bit on low energy. Tom Ford show is beautiful, let me first tell you that. Especially to me, the latter part, which obviously not only there was like Gigi, Bella, John Smalls, like it was, it was gorgeous, but it was just a little part of everything that happened to him like last year on a personal note that I feel like it really affected his creation and that made it quite beautiful for me. I was very touched at that end part. I even texted my boyfriend even though he's sleeping in Europe at the moment. I texted him something nice because I was very touched emotionally. I am very happy that New York Fashion Week came to the end. This was probably like a huge, huge, huge vlog, but this is what we did. You've seen it all. And on to the next one. We got London awaiting, then Milan and Paris and I really enjoy this New York Fashion Week. This was, believe it or not, my 16th New York Fashion Week. I never skipped one, besides the pandemic one, but I never skipped one since I started doing this. And I have to say that New York Fashion Week was kind of like my first real fashion week to do when I started my career. And when I remember how I started and how difficult everything was and how nice uh, it is now, I understand that work does pay off and it's important it just takes a long time <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching this video i will see you next in london bye guys <laughs>